sa henerasyon nga po natin ngayon, sa mga Pilipinong buksingero, marami nga po ang nagkukomento na wala ng Pinoy na susunod sa yapak ng nag-iisang pambansang kamao na si 8th Division World Champion, boxing legend Manny Pacman Pacquiao. Oo nga't mahirap ng tapatan o higitan man ang nagawa ni Kuya Manny sa larangan ng boxing. Pero marami nga pong Pinoy na buksingero ang ginagawang inspirasyon at iniidolo ang mga nagawa at karangalang na ibigay ni Manny Pacquiao. Kaya naman sa bawat pag-akyat ng mga Pilipino nating mandirigma sa ibabaw ng lona, ay talaga namang ibinibigay nila ang buong lakas at dedikasyon sa kanika nilang bawat laban. Mga dumadayo sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo, minsay sa mismong balwarte pa ng kalaban. Ibinibigay ang buong puso sa laban para lamang makapagbigay karangalan sa ating bansang sinilangan. Oo nga po't nangunguna ang bansang Pilipinas noong prime pa ng ating pambansang kamao pagdating sa larangang ito, kaya naman ating balikan mga idol ang ilang mga laban sa madaming Pinoy na buksingero at patuloy na kikipagsapalaran para maitayong muli ang bandila at manguna ang bansang Pilipinas sa may malalakas at kinatatakotang mandirigma pagdating sa mundo ng boxing. Una na nga po dito mga idol, ang tubong Tagbilaran City Buhol, ang tinaguri ang balyente ng Philippine Boxing, walang iba kundi si John Birhel Bitor. August 24, 2023 ay muling dumayo at sumabak naman ang ating kababayan sa bansang Japan para kaharapin ng hapon na si Toshihiro Suzuki kung saan ang laban na ito ay humantong ang resulta sa kamay ng mga hurado kaya naman bigo ang ating kababayan na makuha ang panalo sa kalabang hapon at sa muli nitong pagbabalik sa ibabaw ng lona nito lamang March 8, 2024 muling ipinakita at pinatunayan ni Birhel Bitor ang kanyang kakayahan sa kalaban na Koreano na si Tyson Kim na naganap naman sa Saulog Gym Nation Tagbilaran City na binuo ng PMI Buhol Boxing Stable. Sa bakbakan nga na ito mga idol ay bumagsak sa pangalawang round ng ating kababayan pero hindi ito naging dahilan para isuko ang laban. Kaya naman, mas lalo pang ipinakita nito ang lakas ng isang Pilipinong boksingero para makuha ang panalo sa laban. Heating up right there with hooks from Daniel Vitor. Body shot by Vitor. Forces Tyson Kim to cover up. And... Perfect shot could probably end this fight for both fighters. Right. Using that jab. Oh! Oh, wow. Right punch by Daniel Vitor. Tyson Kim uh, is stunned for a moment right there, but he's standing right now. Our referee making sure he's still okay to continue. Sabi ng partner, it's light opening. Oh, again, another right hand. For a uh, healthy third. Oh, nice body, baby Thor. But he's always been aggressive, but he's different right now. He has this single, single goal. Nice exchange for both fighters. Oh, oh, oh! Tyson Kim get caught. That shot by uh, Tyson Kim rocked Viriel Vitor also. Oh! Vitor! Oh! 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 A count against Virgil Vitor Tyson Kim oh, wow. Double jab straight for Tyson Tyson Kim and his strong partner A double jab by Tyson Kim Vitor excellently moving out of heart I think right now, Virgil uh, Vitor is trying to play, he's trying to box in this round, which he should, you know, certainly. Like uh, Sir Podo said, they always want to bring exciting fights. Oh, that's straight uh, by Virgil Vitor. Oh, oh that was shots by Virgil Vitor. Oh, counter, counter by Tyson Kim. Kim. Oh, there you have it. Another upper cut and hook by Virel Vitor. Tyson Kim, Vitor. I think Kim is playing possum. 
and he is trying to have a counter game. Oh, oh nice Victor. counter by Kim. What a slugfest! Definitely. Oh wow, just no, no holding back for these two boxers. Ten seconds. Ten seconds Ten on the crowd part. It's just all action. Middle Vito with that overhand. Same timing as that left by Tyson Kerr. It's in the making of a classic partner. Definitely. Tyson Kim just trying to fit with that jab. Jab partner. Oh, nice up and by Vitor. Wow, the fans are screaming at the top of their lungs here, partner. But, but, kudos to Tyson Kim. He is pretty much composed. Oh, certainly. Fight, partner. Certainly. Amazing balance also for him, you know? He's able to pivot out of arm's way. Nice oh. exchange for both fighter, partner. Wow, what a slugfest! A counter upper hook by Vitor. Nice body punches by Vitor. By Kim. Oh, that had hurt Vitor again. That right sneaky left straight. I mean the right straight. A minute to go from her partner. Oh, that overhand did got Vitor again. Oh. Of course, a moment here to look at the cut. I see. On uh, round number four. Here we go. The action continues, partner. Final 30 seconds of round four. Four down to the stamina again. Oh, again. One, two. Laro, laro, Vitor. I think you're definitely the right. He must do that thing. He must click his jab and move a little, partner. Certainly, no good body movement being shown by... Virgil Vitor just so he's not a stationary uh, target no? okay. Alam mo partner yung, yung cut and the swelling is a little, a little bit obvious on the right portion sa, sa, sa uh, mukha ni Vitor Virgil Vitor and you know what? A lot of people have been commenting about defense. Uh, you know, guys, defense comes in different forms. No, it's not just the high guard. Yeah. You can stay out of range if you want to defend yourself. You can also use triggers. You can use that jab, like that jab in front of you. You can also step back. You can also move your body. So, what that is, wala ng defense yung tao. Kasi wala na mga boxer na walang defense, ay di ba? Natanes kusun yung mga pasunto. Oh, so double jab by Victor that landed. Also, excellent movement by Tyson Kim. And you see, oh, huge jab. Ito na bang si Tyson Kim din. Inemploy din niya yung style na yung partner. Nilalaro din niya ngayon yeah. si Vitor. No? He's, uh, trying to play boxing with Vitor right now, just staying out of range or at the end of range, you know, just so he won't be hit. Again, that, that counter by Kim is, is, is connecting on that instance. Now, he's, oh, that quick hook on top by Vitor. Uh, yung regarding pagbaba ng kamay, that's what you call an open stance partner. Oh, okay. May mga boxers talaga nagpe-prefer niya kasi mas madali sumuntok eh for them. Oh, a counter right by Vitor. We're heading the halfway through. And overhand right by uh, Vitor again. Stunt Kim. Virel Vitor trying to overwhelm him, hitting him up top to cover up for him to cover up, partner. He's trying to outmuscle Kim on this 
opening canto of round number six. Hindi mo alam kung nilalaro niya. Right now, bumalik na naman siya sa, sa, sa movement niya and side to side. I'm speaking of Victor. Certainly no partner. He's trying to set traps right now. Ano? Look at him. Just moving side to side. Harrying that jab and countering with another jab. It could overrun the counter by hitting some game by the way. Kasi pag mga ganitong uh, middle of the round na, uh, it's a battle of address na talaga. It's a battle of win. Who wants it more? Certainly no. Kasi medyo nag-win na yung lakas nito ba? Urgency, no? And also to have a quick update uh, sa mga nanonood natin, both boxer uh, did get knocked down uh, on this fight already. That stiff chat by Vitor followed up by that hook. I Much big guys, I think they are both cut quick on their punches. Oh! Vitor sensing, sensing that uh, oh, but a quick counter by Tyson Kim. What a great scene for this Korean partner. But yes, a partner. little bit swelling on the on the eyes, on the right eye of uh, Tyson. Jab. Always lands for uh, Vitor. And similarly, itong si Tyson Kim also lands with that uh, left overhand. Round number six. The Philippines against Tyson Kim of the South Korea. Naku, huwag niyo yung uh, mamalitin yung daplis. Ha? Misan yung mga daplis na suntok, yun yung... <laughs> Masakit ash, pa rin no. yun. Masakit. I mean, speed is power, partner. So it doesn't mean na hindi bumabaw yung suntok, hindi yun malakas. Alam mo, partner, if you could see the pace of the protagonist... Finish him! Then, Wow! Matapos nga ang matinding knockout na ibinigay ng ating kababayan sa dayong koreano sa pangpitong round ng kanilang sagupaan. Dahil sa suntok na sinalo at pinsalang natamo, Dahilan para makuha ng Pinoy ang panalo at ang bakanting WBO Oriental Super Featherweight title. Your winner by way of knockout and the new WBO Oriental Super Featherweight Champion, Virgil El Valiente! Ang tubong Sambuanga City, Sambuanga del Sur, ang Southpaw Fighter na si Yumir Felix Marshall. Kilala si Yumir Marshall dahil sa mga achievements at pag-uwi ng mga medalya sa ating bansa kung saan nakakuha ito ng silver medal sa 2019 World Championship at bronze medal naman sa 2020 Summer Olympic. Mayroon nga po itong kabuuan na kartadang 74 na panalo, 26 ay tinapos sa pamamagitan ng knockout at may 21 talo sa kanyang karera sa amateur boxing. December 2020 naman, nang simulang pasokin ito ang professional boxing sa ilalim ng MP promotion ni Manny Pacquiao. Sa pro boxing ni Marshall mga idol, ay nananatiling unbeated itong ating pambato kung saan may kartada itong apat na panalo, dalawa ay tinapos sa pamamagitan ng knockout. Kung saan nga mga idol, ay bago pa man nga po muling sumabak sa Olympic ang ating pambato, ay lalaban muna ito sa veteranong pambato ng bansang Thailand na si Toed Saksinam. May kartadang 23 panalo, labing siya may tinapos sa pamamagitan ng knockout at may labing tatlong talo itong si Sinam. Ay isang WBC Asian Silver Light Heavyweight Champion at kakagaling lamang sa dalawang magkasunod na panalo by a knockout. Oh, you all know, it's Olympics 170. Yeah, you're getting to the Nito, 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 you're getting to the N
a good show as well. On the uh, flights, uh, after this flight, we have in fact have three more flights that are scheduled. Na kailan yun i i i laban mami? And there are good ones. There are good ones. Now you want to notice the change of power shots here by Billy Pacha. He's throwing that left hand a little bit more than in the first round. Do left straight. And now he's up against probably, arguably, the most hardy opponent of his eyes.
Ang bagong usbong na undefeated na boksingerong mula sa Karkar Cebu City at tinaguri ang Cebuano assassin ng Philippine Boxing na si Raymart Tagacanaw na nangangampanya ngayon sa Super Flyweight Division. May malinis na kartadang pitong panalo at anim dito ay talaga namang pinabagsak niya gamit ang kanyang mabibigat na kamao o may 85.71% na account ratio. At ang pinakalatest fight nga po ng ating bida ngayon ay nito lamang March 8, 2024. Dito ay nakaharap ng Pinoy ang Indonesian boxer na si Hamson Lamandaw kung saan naganap ang kanilang sagupaan sa Saulog Gymnasium Tagbilaran City. I did both boxer with prop of prop of one is round number one. Just a correction, Rick. No, I think don't be confused. The weight of Tagakano coming in is. I think he he made one fourteen point three also. Difficult team in San. So you know that both fighter did make the weight limit of one hundred fourteen. Can see here, Raymer Tagakano always brings excitement to the ring. Wow! What a nice exchange for both fighters. Tagakano,ah,inaslalaman siya mandao,na,na,lalalaman niya mo,pano,wata klang,surely,one of the candidates for fight of the year last year yon.Raymer Tagakano,despite,alamandao,it's not an easy opponent.Hindi,but,hind
left to the body by Tagalcano. Our referee signaling to keep it a little higher for Tagalcano. Oh wow, just beautiful setup for Tagahana. You see him going up top yes, to, the body to open up Hamandao for that body shot. A little bit wild for Raymart on that instant. Good counter. Raymart always oh, watches, uh, watches out for the jab uh, to do that counter. But the overhand Hello. did sink in for Lamandu on that um, On that instant. There you have it. Quick counter by Tagahana. Just how that is Lamandu partner. Oh, certainly. Yeah. And always, always unleashing punches okay, and punches. You know, threes or four punch combinations by Lamandu. Keeping those hands active. And he like this boy. He okay. came very prepared okay. for okay. Raymar Tagahana. Certainly amazing stamina okay. from this warrior. From yeah. Palangkaraya, yeah. Indonesia. So if we have viewers from Palangkaraya, shout out to all of you guys. And, oh, another ripping hook to the body by Tagakano and then hook up top. What a one two combination in throwing out for Lamandu. Counter uh, to the body by Tagakano. Hamadou just constantly jabbing. Nice I love the exchanges of both fighters, Bio. Do you? <laughs> of course, I mean, they're not letting yeah. the other finish. Yeah. You can see they, they counter mid mid combination. Alam mo, ito yung gusto ng mga Pinoy. This is what the Filipino fans want. That vulnerability of opening up uh, during exchanges. And kudos also to the matchmaker of this, uh, this uh, fight. And in this event, talagang magaganda. And makikita uh, mo, ang ganda ng laban na to. Certainly, partner. A former champion facing an up-and-coming uh, uh, young gun. Yeah. Judicious jabbing by Laman Dao. You can see he's trying to open up Tagakano and he opens up with a jab. That left jab of uh, Takakana is a uh, is uh, guns on placing right now. You are absolutely oh, right. What a good one to combination by the Indonesian. Certainly that landed on the chain of Takakana. The Indonesian are showing some good footwork on round number four. Certainly very active at the back foot partner and he's able to unleash some Pretty good combinations while, while backing backing away, no? And it's also a very difficult thing on, on trying to, to execute your punches going backwards, partner. Certainly, oh, certainly. nice overhand by Lamandu. And I oh, like, nice one to again oh, by Lamandu. Oh, beautiful, beautiful uppercut. I like how Lamandu also, Pansit mo, when he gives that combination, always, okay. always uh, against or out of the center line. but. Excellent range boxing by Tagakano. There you have it, that the right hand of Tagakano. Both fighters are, are brilliant on this round, partner. An exciting uh, matchup between Raymar Tagakano of the Philippines against Lamandu. Um, yes, Hanson Lamandu of Indonesia. Both of them have that high guard, pero may mga nuances yung depensa nila, partner. Yes. Like, like Raymark Tagakano sometimes parries that jab. Lamandu uh, sometimes sits on that punch with that high guard. And so, I, I think the one big factor is, is, the, is the jab of, of, of Tagakano. It's a constant target. Well, I'm speaking about the left jab of Tagakano. Oh, that beautiful long range uppercut by Tagakano. That triple jab by Lamandao. Oh, again, again. The jab of Tagakano is been making damages for Hamandu. I'm so Lamandu. But good body movement by Lamandu to avoid that. Ano, parang natuto na rin siya because the jab keeps on landing. So it is like... There you have it. Aside from it landing, it also sets, parang it stops the momentum eh, ni Lamandu when he's about to unleash a combination. Saka partner, kailangan gumalaw-galaw siya 
kasi kung hindi siya gumalaw, it will be a, a, a target for uh, Takakanao. I'm speaking about the left jab. Certainly, no. Both fighters are taper off a little bit on, on, on the initial uh, of this, uh, round number five. Yeah, this is a 10-round affair, so it's actually wise ano, to not <laughs> give it your all in all of the rounds. There are some rounds na aralin may opponent, you study your opponent, you set some traps or some triggers. Because if you, if you do that, if you're, you're stepping on the gas pedal each and every round, it's gonna gas you out. I mean, we're just human partner, no? There's just limit to our gas tank. So it's really wise for them to vary the tempo. Oh, beautiful exchange partner. The oh, the hook to the both boxers. The left cross did hit for Lamandu. Again, the third one in the ring is Noel Haduka. Of course, of course. Huge right hand for You must have that eagle eye on you. Um, to be the third man in the ring. Certainly. Uh, just very good distance for our referee. Just enough to to see the action but without disturbing it, no? Or yes. intercepting it. Final uh, 15 seconds of a uh, round 5 part. I did both boxer. Sabi ko nga, medyo <laughs> nagpahinga sila dito sa round number 5. And Tagakano is trying to accelerate as we end round number 5. Beautiful left hook by Raymar Tagakano right there. <laughs> Marin natin siya ng mga ilang araw. I'm speaking about Hamendu, Lamandu. And he come very prepared for this fight. Uh, he will not uh, back down from the challenge against uh, Ray Marta Kakanao. Alam mo nakakatawa kasi Indonesians and Filipinos are very friendly. We always love to smile kasi I've been in, you've been in Indonesia. I've been yeah. in Indonesia. Very friendly people. But inside the ring, they have this tenacity partner. This, this uh, warrior instinct. Warrior instinct. Yeah. Tama ka dyan. We go to the start of round number seven. Both of the fighters are trying to size up each other again in the beginning of round number seven. That was a good job by Lamandu. And then when uh, Tagakano slipped, he slipped in that uppercut. Lamandu is giving a dose of his own medicine by giving that left jab uh, to Tagakano. Partner, that jab of Tagakano is a showstopper. He just stops Lamandu right when he's charging in. No? Oh, body shot by Tagakano. Lamandu answers with a oh, triple nice jab in straight. The jab is picking up right now for the Indonesian partner. He is scoring with that jab. Certainly. Oh, yeah, Tagakano the did the exchange. And I like how in the, the Indonesian uh, Lamandu keeps it on the center of the ring. He circles yes. out to the left to keep it at the center. He doesn't want to be cornered by uh, Raymar Tagakano. Tagakano, that stiff jab, beautiful. Another pass it for Tagakano. Now he's a counter-punching uh, boxer. From from a broader standpoint, Kanina, he's now trying to make uh, Lamandu commit mistake. Certainly, he's inching forward. Oh, Overhand! Overhand by Taga Kanao that landed, if I'm not mistaken, on the temple of a. I, I think that's that right overhand, partner, if I'm not mistaken. Right overhand! Oh, the whatever is talked about. Sa pang anim na round nga mga idol, ay hindi umubra ang lakas ng Indonesian boxer sa ating kababayan. Kung saan ay brutal na winasak ng Pinoy si Hamson Laman daw sa pang anim na round ng kanilang sagupaan by a technical knockout at nakuha ang WBA, Asia Pacific Super Flyweight title. Hey, Asia Super Flyweight Champion from Napo, Karkar City, Cebu, Raymart, the same.